The internet has been going insane over this Pokedex leak. Started by the Riddler, it seems as though we have the entire returning Pokedex for Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. Let's take a look. Okay, so this all started with the Riddler making a post of the Gen 9 Pokedex as a blurry screenshot of his desktop image, which we've seen before. This was something that happened going into Legends Arceus decks, and the community came together. Lots of amazing community members, too many to name, but we've shown them in so many videos. Honestly, shout out to the community. Uh, over the last few months for helping make these videos happen obviously i'm the guy who's here reading this stuff but they're the ones doing all the hard work putting it together so big shouts to them of course you've got riddler who also saying 297 plus 103 equals 440 plus and then Centra reporting on that saying that there's 103 new pokemon in the paldea region 297 returning pokemon giving you a 400 pokemon pokedex which i think is a really good number right i know you got the people with the national decks being like oh i wish it had everything i get it right but I will tell you one of my favorite times of playing competitive Pokemon was Sun and Moon when it first released and it was a limited Pokedex. It was a phenomenal competitive metagame and I didn't feel like things were missing. I'm not defending Game Freak. You guys know I can be critical of them, but I don't think it's a big deal, especially when they'll probably have DLC to add another couple hundred on, which is coming down the road. That's a whole nother conversation. Then apparently there's 40 plus home transfer only Pokemon. Charizard line can be transferred. There's some confusion about what else can be transferred. Things like legendary birds, Mew and Mewtwo seem to be transferable as well. Then we see the Riddler saying, cool, you got very few slots wrong. Fantastic. And we have Pearl Enthusiast and a handful of other people, Soul Silver, Blazing Incineroar, many others uh, diving into this. And we believe to have about 95, 97% accurate of what the Pokedex actually is at this point. And I think that that's really dope. Like, that's really cool. So let's talk about it. That, that's the exciting part. Let's talk about it. And let's see which Pokemon have made it in. And I, this is my first time looking at the list, personally. Uh, like, in depth. So, you've got Raichu, the Raichu line. No surprise there. Nido King and Nido Queen making it. Love that, right? Big fan there. Wigglytuff. Another one. Um, you've got Venomoth. So, good Gen, Gen 1 representation here. I like seeing Venomoth. That's a Pokemon that doesn't get a lot of love. The Dugtrio line. Obviously making sense. And then you've got the Meowth and Berserker lines coming in. As well as Golduck. And then Primeape. We know Primeape getting a new evolution. Uh, Gold Duck, I don't care for. Arcanine, really dope Pokemon. Tentacruel getting uh, some love in this game and obviously having a potential regional fake, uh, much like Wiglet. So that's something to keep an eye out. The Slowpoke line, Slow King, Slow Bro. And then you've got the Magnemite line, which something tells us that it's going to tie into Paradox forms as well. So Madness Zone making an appearance. Then you've got Muck, Cloyster. So some cool Pokemon there. No Weezing though, it looks like. Then uh, Gengar, Hypno. Electrode, and then you've got some of the kind of tail end of the decks. So you've got the Scyther and Scissor line. You've got Blissey, so Blissey making a return. Tauros, obviously, making a return. Gyarados, Ditto, all of the Evolutions, Dragonite. So that's your Gen 1, basically, right? With a little bit of extra stuff mixed in. So that's what Gen 1's looking like. Some standouts to me, obviously, excited to see Scissor. I think Arcanine's a great fit. I love that they have the Doug Trio and the Tentacruel, and we know that there's going to be those kind of regional fakes. Uh, I'm a big fan of, you know, the Gengar edition. I think that's really cool. Gyarados is kind of a staple in these games. The Nido's making it and Venomoth making it. Pretty dope. Some of the big snubs for me, you know, I would have liked to see the Beedrill line. I feel like that's a line that's been kind of forgotten over the last couple generations. Um, Butterfree, it's hard to see. Butterfree not in the game as well, but that had a lot of love in Sword and Shield. So that that's some of my personal ones uh, in terms of, obviously, the bug types that I like. In terms of non-bug types, I'm a big Starmie guy. I think Starmie's a really dope Pokemon. We don't see that. And again, we don't see Weezing, which is a little sad to me too, especially because I really like Galarian Weezing. Moving to Generation 2, we've got Ampharos, so Marif's line. We've got the Azumarill line. Obviously, Pseudo Woodle we've seen. Jumpluff making it in, which is a bit of a surprise. You've got Sunflora. You've got Quagsire, obviously, with the uh, the new Paldean Wooper. Murkrow and Honchkrow. Mischievous line. Giraffe Rig, which we already know for a giraffe is coming, which I'm a big fan of. I love that addition. Fortress. Very cool. I'm glad Fortress made it. No Heracross, though, right? Dunsparce, which we know is going to get an evolution. Quillfish and potentially Overquill. I'm not sure about the Overquill. You've got we uh, Weavile. You've got Ursaring. Again, I'm not sure if there's going to be Ursaluna and Sneasler and stuff, too. You've got Delibird. Houndoom, Donphan, Stantler, I don't know about Weirdeer, and then Tyranitar. So that's your Gen 2 decks there. But again, big snub on Heracross personally. Yanma, Yanmega getting snubbed on the bug side of things. What are you going to do? Also, Lantern missing. Big sad. Smeargle missing. 
you know, whatever. Porygon line, uh, we obviously missing out on Snow P2 there. Skarmory is another one that I think could have made it. Mantine's kind of cool, but it got a lot of love in the previous game, so not a huge deal there. Moving to Generation 3, we've got Pelipper. Uh, so you got the weather, you got Gardevoir Gallade, you got Masquerade. Love seeing Masquerade make the list. Breloom, which is nice to see. Slacking, Hariyama, Sableye, Mawile, kind of come as a pair. Metacham, Swalot, who knows. You've got, uh, what is that? Camerupt, Torkoal, Grumpig, Cacturn. Uh, then you've got Altaria, Zangus, and Viper, Whiskash, Tropius, Glalie, Frostlass, Love Disk and salamon so right off the bat i'm like yo where's absol like that's like a big one right there so no absol another big missing piece here is the ninjas line the ninkata line because we cannot terrestrialize shedinja and have it be any type i wonder if they're just not even going to include that pokemon in this game for the sake of making sure that they don't have to deal with whatever issues could come from that i honestly wouldn't be surprised to see that no waylord which is whatever obviously got a lot of love in in, in uh, scarlet and violet and uh, no flygon i think is a big one too like when we're talking about pokemon that i would have liked to see Flygon is probably one of them. Absol, again, I mentioned again, uh, kind of a big miss there in the decks for me. We see very little Gen 4 representation, which in my mind makes a lot of sense. We just had Gen 4 remake, so for them to not really talk about Gen 4, really highlight Gen 4 makes a lot of sense. You've got Staraptor, Luxray, Vespaquen, whatever, Pachirisu, Floatzel, Gastrodon, Driftblim, Bronzong, and then you've got some of the more powerful iconic Pokemon. Spiritomb, Garchomp, Lucario, Hippowdon, Lumineon, how does that make it in this game? Obama Snow and Rotom. So, I mean, listen, at the end of the day, I, I don't personally care for Lumineon. Why is that even in the game? It was in it was in some of the other games. Why do we need Lumineon? I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't know what to tell you about that. Honestly, out of Gen 4, I don't really feel like there's any huge snubs. I, I'm looking through the list and there's nothing that really jumps out to me where I'm like, oh man, I really miss, wish this Pokemon made it into the game. Like, I, I feel like that's fine. Gen 5, we're looking at Lilligan, and again, we, we assume maybe Hisui and Lilligan. Uh, Basculin, maybe Basket Legion. Crocodile, Crustle, Zoroark, obviously Hisui and Zoroark. Sawsbuck, which apparently has some love. Amoongus, Alamola, Electros, I love seeing that. Haxorus, Beartick, Cryogonal, Bisharp, Braviary, Hydreigon, and Volcarona. So that's kind of what we're looking at there. In terms of potential snubs out of Gen 5, I mean, I, I'm a big Gigalith guy. I like Excadrill. I would have liked to see them. Conkelder's another one that I would have liked to see. Skullipede, a pretty dope bug type. There's a lot of bug types that we're missing. No love for Darmanitan here. What are you going to do? Kofagrigus. Gen 5 actually has a lot of Pokemon that I like as I'm scrolling through this list. Reuniclus is another one I would have liked to see. But it's clear to me that they've got some representation from the different generations to function with different things like weather. We've got Pelipper. You've got, you know, Bear Tick to function there. You've got Sand. So you got Torkoal for Sun. So you got to think from a competitive perspective as well. Gen 6, you've got Talonflame, Vivian, apparently all of its forms. Pyroar, uh, Floet or Flobebe or Florgus, it's called. Go Goat making a return for the first time since Gen 6. Pan, uh, Pangoro, Kloitzer, Halucha, Dedenne, I hate that Pokemon, Carbank, Gudra, Avalug, and Noivern. So I love seeing the Talonflame edition. I love seeing the Go-Goat edition. I think that that's really good. I like, I mean, we don't have Aromatisse. We don't have Slurpuff. We don't have Dragalge. Very strange that we have Kloitzer, but no Dragalge. Those kind of Pokemon are very much so teamed together. Um, no Gorgeist. I'm a big Gorgeist fan. It's probably my favorite Pokemon in Gen 6. We don't have a Gorgeist, but otherwise, I, I don't feel like it's too bad. Gen 7, we've got Gumshoes, Crabominable, uh, Oracorio, Lycanroc, uh, Toxapex, Mudsdale, Lorantis, Serena, Galisapod. Very cool to see Galisapod make it. Polisand, Pukamuku, Kamala, Mimikyu, Bruxish, and uh, Delmize. The Bruxish, I, I, who wants to see that? There's no Vikavolt here, which is very big sads. I'm not going to lie. No Vikavolt has me very sad. Also, no Araquanid is pretty sad too. Turinade is another one I would have liked to see. But other than that, I feel pretty good with that. I like the Mimikyu. I like the Galisapod. You know, Toxpex is pretty dope. So not too shabby there. Going to the Gala region, one of the more recent regions, we've got Greedent, Corviknight, Dreadnaw, Colossal, Flapple, and Appleton. You've got Sanaconda, Cramorant, Toxtricity. You've got the Teapot. You've got uh, Hatterene and Grimmsnarl. Phalanx, Pincurchin, Frostmoth, Stonejourner, Ice Q, Indeedy. Kabaraja and Dragapult. So I feel really good about the Gen 7 list, honestly. Like, I, there's nothing that really jumps out to me that's missing. I feel really good about that. Obviously, there's a few bugs that are missing, but Frostmoth makes up for that, in my opinion. I like the love for Stonejourner and Ice Q. Indeedee is going to make VGC just a nightmare. 
Um, you've got the Hatterene, which is great for Trick Room. Really cool Pokemon. A lot of unique Pokemon in Gen 7, in my opinion. Colossal is very unique. Corviknight's very unique in terms of what they do. Salazzle's apparently mixed in here somewhere. I'm not sure what happened with the image there, but Salazzle's supposed to be here. And then we've got some of the legendaries that are apparently transferable in through Pokemon Home, like Charizard, the legendary birds, Articuno, Moltres, Zapdos, Mew, Typhlosion randomly, Palkia and Dialga, Giratina, Victini, Samurott. Then you've got uh, the, the Natures, you know, Tornadus, Thunderous, Landorus, and Amorous. You've got Meloetta, Chestnut, Delphox, Greninja, Deonsi. You've got Decidueye. Uh, and then, oh yeah, so now here at the bottom of the list, we got some of those um, those evolutions like Weird Deer, Cleaver, Ursaluna, Basket Legion, Weavler, or Sneasler, and Overquill. So we do have kind of the, the Legends Arceus, Hisui forms, and Magearna as well. So that seems to be that. So again, we believe this list to be about 97% accurate in terms of the returning Pokemon. But is there a Pokemon that you feel got snubbed from this? I'm taking this list as pretty much fact at this point. Like, it's got to be darn close minus maybe one or two or three Pokemon switching around. So, this is your Pokedex, it seems, guys, for Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. Overall, I feel good about it. Like, honestly, I don't, I don't feel bad at all. Especially with 103 new Pokemon being thrown on top of this. Like, it feels pretty good to me. It feels like it got a nice collection of different types, different Pokemon. Good representation from all the different generations. There's a few things I would have liked to see, like Heracross, you know, obviously one of my favorite Pokemon. But overall, in terms of like the non-bugs specifically, I really am happy to see a lot of these additions. Things like Go Goat making the return, Breloom making it in, Jumpluff, some of these cool Pokemon that you just don't really see much of, and they're gonna be in this game. So should be a lot of fun. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Thanks to everyone who put this together, and let me know what Pokemon you wish made it in based on this list that's not there now. I'll see you guys soon. Thanks for watching. Peace.